right. All right. Hi and welcome everyone to the next round of the Captain Dev meeting. Um, like always, please add yourself to the attendees list so that we uh, know who is on the call. And um, add, feel free to add points you want to discuss um, to the agenda. From my point of view, I want to highlight two things. First of all, uh, currently uh, the milestone captain 0.8.7 is created and uh, will be re released soon. And this milestone is actually a, a bug fix uh, release that contains issues that have been encountered by some captain users in the last two weeks. And we want to get them addressed as early as possible. And this was also the reason why we uh, agreed on working on this hotfix release. Please go to the milestone and then um, take a look at the issues that are still open, but uh, oh, already pull requests are filed. And a couple of ones are also already closed and will then be cherry picked um, into the release branch. Okay. Um, yeah, for all of you, uh, stay tuned to get this patch release. And it's also recommended to upgrade your Captain 0.4.5.6 uh, release to this newest version so that uh, you are on the latest and greatest Captain release. All right, there is the first announcement for today. And then I have a second one. Uh, yeah, this week we uh, filed a Captain Enhancement proposal for improving uh, the way that Captain is dealing with get SLI events. Uh, since there is a limitation right now, uh, due to the fact that the Lighthouse service is actually handling a get SLI event and this limits um, Captain um, to use the full power of, of the shipyard controller and then also certain use cases are not possible. Please go to this cap. As always, you find it in the enhancement proposal. Let me just show you how to get there. You go to Captain, Captain. And then in on the organization level, you find the repository enhancement proposals. And currently it's already a pull request and it's the latest one where we are dealing with the situation to get the SLI retrieval um, yeah, changed, changed in a way that it will then be done by the shipyard controller and not by the lighthouse anymore. Here is the motivation of the change. Then also some technical details um, as it's the status quo as it's right now. And then also the goal um, we are aiming for. And the goal is actually to make the get SLI task a dedicated task in a sequence so that also multiple SLI providers can then listen for this task and then um, simultaneously fetch the data, which will then be um, sent back to Captain used for the evaluation task to do the SLO evaluation. All right, yeah, use case wise, uh, when having this feature implemented, it will then be possible that as I already said, you can connect, that you are then able to connect multiple SLI providers um, to Captain. Then uh, an SLI provider can also run on the execution plane, meaning outside of Captain. And last but not least, this is, um, this also comes then hand in hand with this change because uh, when a testing tool also generates um, SLIs, let's, for, let's say for example, um, Jmeter already knows the response time of um, certain calls, then this data can also be added to the event that will then be sent back by the testing tool. And therefore the testing tool has to add this information to the get SLI block in the date in the payload and when this information is there the lighthouse service will also take it into account for um, calculating the slo value and now comes the important part and this is why i wanted to highlight and point out this cap enhancement proposal um, the important part is that changes are required on this on the sli providers because um, at the end, the SLI provider will not get the information 
about the time frame that need to be queried. And we also, um, the list of indicators will not be communicated to the SLI providers anymore. They have to actually then um, retrieve the data for all the indicators they have configured and send them back uh, to Captain. And last but not least, uh, custom filters. This is a feature that we think or we are not aware of um, the usage. And going forward, we want to deprecate this feature so that's not available anymore. Um, but this is, I think, one open uh, question that we have to figure out um, how or where, who is actually using this feature. And in case it's available, how we are dealing with the situation then. All right, yeah, a summary of what I've said right now um, is provided here. And um, please um, stay tuned and also keep that in mind that when this cap is implemented, that you as an, a developer of an SLI provider must, be, um, must take these changes into consideration then. All right, yeah, these are the two things that I wanted to point out today. Um, are there any issues, feedback, current questions? It's look, it looks like it's not the case. Just wanna say also, mentioned that uh, I know that a couple of folks are currently on vacation, meaning that we are today a little bit uh, a smaller round, but yeah, that's perfectly fine. If there are no further uh, concerns, notes, feedback, then I think we'll close this meeting today a little bit earlier. Yep, yeah, no questions coming in. Then, um, yeah, let's end the session for today and see you then next time on uh, next Thursday, same time. Um, yeah, will we then again go over features and issues that have been implemented in the last two weeks then. Okay, then um, I wanna say thanks for joining in and listening to my two announcements. Uh, have a nice day and see you then next time. Bye, everyone. See you. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.